guys, welcome to the Open Goal FC podcast with my co-host Simon Ferry. No, no, I'm a guest on this. No, you're the co-host today, and the one and only is Andrew Murray. My friend, how you doing? All right. I'm good, mate. I'm good, mate. Do you know that's been twenty years with me and my mother together? Jesus, man. He told me he didn't remember it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You've not seen that last week. By the way, talk to me about that. And you took me. Have you ever seen a guy merit his debt for me though there? <laughs> oh my But he takes me there though, right? And then he's wondering about talking to everybody and I'm left sitting and then you came back here and then it was a, a one of the, the I can't remember if it was one of the women came here and you were like to Joel and you were like ah, that's quite rude, he's no introduced to see what you get. So I'm like, oh, oh no, and then she, so I've tried to speak to speech and she went, Will you speak clearly? <laughs> oh, mate. I'm telling you, mate, it was brutal. Oh, it's incredible. You kept asking for Spaghetti ball and so, didn't you? Oh man, what was the dinners? It was a spag ball you there. Did. Wait, you gave the starter back, you didn't even get the starter. Wait, what was the starter again? <laughs> steak tartar. Oh, steak tartar, so it was, mate. Steak tartar. Tartar. Steak tartar. Tartar. <laughs> I've never bought a boy, I've, I've never seen it like that. That was a good night, though, wasn't it? Uh-huh. So, we was, he, he actually sabotaged me the next day, though, because he said, Do you remember we done the Frosties advert again? He said, Is it? I was saying that. You got fucking. But that's what I was saying. So, but this is a, the worst thing all about. Check it's because your head looks like a bowl of frosties. <laughs> oh my! Your hair is like it's actually caused a bowl of frosties. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, my back so on top of me half too much. Oh no. Yeah, it's on it. Do you know though? Tony the Tiger. <laughs> we met Tony the Tiger, didn't we? Tony the Tiger Tony the Tiger was in the outfit. So this is the, I'll tell you the new and, and I'll never forgive the wee man. We went into training and there was the names were there who was doing the Frosty's outfit and my name was in. So see, we'll get back to you on the details when you're filming in the advert with Tony. Right? Because he was it was genuine, it was, a, it was an advert. We Lawless wasn't involved, right? He didn't get picked for the advert. <laughs> so the, the, the next few, few weeks, it goes on, don't hear it in, turn the telly on. The advert comes on, we Lawless is fucking tackling Tony the Tiger. <laughs> but who was Tony the Tiger? Burrows? <laughs> <laughs> so you got picked for it? Somehow I... Uh, Are you Bob? It was a good, good looking boys that got picked on it. <laughs> we lost, but no way. <laughs> Me and him got headlined for it. Uh, I, I thought going into school, like after it, I'd be like, oh, hero. I bullied man for months and months <laughs> and months for it. Aye, right, it was. <laughs> didn't go down well. Didn't go down well at all. Aye, okay, okay, okay. Just everybody walking by me like, Tony, Tony, Tiger, Tony. <laughs> Peace, peace, man. Raging man, but well, see, I, you should have mentioned the sponsor, so I'm going to pass it to you. For the <laughs> no, one no, 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 no. no so you, Jones White is your gig, mate. Yeah. Come on, you're the face of Jones White. So, Jones White, if there's, say, what do you, and when sponsors come along, how high would you regard them as? Oh, they've been up there this year. They've been right, outstanding. Uh, and the what, the he's a, a great example yeah. Well, I think you, it's only right that you explain what they can actually offer, offer well, the viewers. The group action team have discovered that a number of car finance products. Have been missed in Scotland? Now, can you believe it? Have you ever been missed? Has that ever happened to you with your motor? <laughs> my dad's. <laughs> Need to go with my dad there. Yeah. Which means, listen to this, which means that if you have purchased a car on finance in the last 20 years, you could be entitled to significant compensation. compensation wow. So, do, do you know what? Some people sometimes just go through life and go, oh, this is my art, it's done. The last 20 years, I'm you back to. Incredible, mate. Do you think you've had any issues? Did your dad's car come with that fart smell? <laughs> Imagine if he took that in. <laughs> There's an issue just... <laughs> oh. See, my dad's old motor, it got stole, do you know that? It got st- it, my, my dad, stole? No, but it got stole, but my best pal... It stole? No, it's ma. was stunned at the window, the window having a fag, watching it get stolen, then he click on. <laughs> Sorry about that, so... I don't know if that was in the last 20 years, but... I think that has happened a lot, mate. Aye, so use the link in the description below to find out if you're eligible to claim... Brilliant. Excellent minute. Done I think that. there'll be a lot of people that'll be contacting Jones White. <laughs> 100% my dad will certainly be one. Now, Xander, how's the last few months been? Has it been a whirlwind for you? Oh, mate. Mental. Absolute mental. Since uh, September, I've literally no stopped. Literally sent out a harmless Facebook post. And I, only had, I didn't have any other social media. Thinking, right, that's an easy way to tell everybody I couldn't be bored. Like, going to the address room and tell them. Uh, maybe help a few people. Woke up the next day and it's just... 
here we are, I'm not going. Did you expect that though, mate? See, when before that, did you expect you're going to get this sort of no. debt and opportunities? No, I played, no disrespect to the Lone League, like, but you know, fifth division in Scottish football. Never in my life would I have expected to get this much traction and it's changed my life. Do you What's know what been I mean? the craziest no. thing that's happened to you since then? This. Uh, <laughs> this is the whole point of it. This is the whole point. <laughs> uh, Lorraine, was, Lorraine was surreal because that was very early on. And that's crazy, mate. You, have I you watched that interview? Oh, no. don't, don't. No, oh. no it's brilliant, Aye, mate. You spoke a, so well on it. That was a bag of jaggies, man. Oh, no, I didn't come across like that, mate. It was good. See them at the cameras, see you walking into like, a stage like you've probably been in. Stan's bedroom, mate. That's genius, man. That's genius. Good night. <laughs> but. Fucking <laughs> sitting down and before we're starting, she's like, hey, just stay calm, just breathe. And then she's starting and then see my lip just trembling. And I'm trying to not stare at one camera, so I was looking up there. But for whatever reason, there's a camera there and just looking at me, pure terrified, man. If you watch it back, I actually kind of get my first few words out, so I got absolutely rinsed in the, the football group chat. No, mate, I, I watched it, it was brilliant. Is it live, Lauren? Is that live? Aye, Aye mate. Oh, mate, that's I, fucking that's some glowing talk. Can I get my first word out? I was like, oh, Lorraine, Lorraine, Lorraine. I was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> but she was brilliant. Brand that new. is the worst because it is live, isn't it, though? Does she, uh, that's tough, does she tell you what she's going to ask you before you go on? Can you like prepare? She, she does, aye. A lot of them though, tell you, ask to say, oh this is what we're going to say, and then just, like we're live, curveball straight away, you're like, Jesus oh. Christ. But uh, no, she was brand new. Have you met her? No, I never met her. You love her, didn't you? You I really like her. I've always loved her, she? I prefer Christine um, Lampard, does it? Uh, and Alice Hammond just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's cracking up and the documentary mate watched it last week absolutely brilliant oh cheers bro cheers appreciate it Annie, um, what, is this on iPlayer? Yeah, mate, uh, aye mate everybody watch it it's absolutely incredible uh, Max, what it, is it just kind of your, story, your, your like, life story? no it's a kind of a whole take on no, sort of referee as well wasn't uh, it? LGBT homophobia in general in Scottish football so speak to the referee speak to the women's game speak to big Graham Spears <laughs> Infamous in school, uh, but crack guy went in his gaff and stuff, bro. Nice. Man, um, that was cool. And then spoke to a few supporters and that. So, aye, what a surreal experience, eh? See, for yeah. the Lorraine thing, did they take you down and like, do they pay for obviously all your travel? And, and oh, you get looked after, man. Oh, yeah. well, you get properly looked after. Uh, I took my who did I take that time? Did I take a wee more? A wee more, maybe a legend. Do you know, was it in, in, is it London? Man? Is it Manchester? Yeah, uh, London, hmm. aye, White, White City, is it? Wow. Uh, stayed in a cracking hotel and that way. Like they put you up in a hotel and everything? Oh, oh mate. A wee moi, took a wee moi, she's, she's, she's a, a nurse and that, she's, she's just a wee legend eh? and she's obviously never seen stuff like that, so that oh, was just an amazing experience, pure pinch me moment, man. Like, and see so all your food in that pie as well, the night before? Ah, uh, you get a wee allowance and stuff, which is brilliant, man. That's incredible, that. Right? How's your wee ma been, my friend? She was worried at first. Was she? Uh, you, you probably similar type moz, you know what I mean? My mom, you know, remembers you and stuff, aye, but aye. Uh, she was worried at the beginning, man. She was just like, oh no, I hope everybody takes it well and I hope you get all right and you don't get too much negative feedback and stuff. But since, you know, things are coming into fruition and it's looking good and stuff, she's uh, she's enjoying it now. But so did you speak to your, your mum and your, your, your family like befo way before the shot you came out aye. on social media? Aye, so I came out ages before that, but it only came to the point that it was just a football community never knew and I was just doing my nothing because there was loads of opportunities through my 20s as well that I could have possibly played higher, but the only reason I, can, I, can you swear? Can yeah, I, I swear. The only reason I shot out the bed was because I was gay, that was it, like I had two or three opportunities and that was it and I'm like, I got to a point. And what like, were you scared of we're going higher but being gay? This is going to sound so stupid, right, but like... Say they found out. So I always, you'll notice, I never went, I never really moved to a Glasgow team because I'm from here. I always tried to play further away because mm -hmm. people didn't know me. I thought if I moved to a team local and higher up, that if they found out, I'd get rinsed in the dressing room and get slagged. And at that point, I didn't accept myself. So that would save me in the turmoil. Eh? So it's terrified, man, eh, to just for people find out. And also, the, like, we play football and we'll go into like back in the younger days mm -hmm. about you in the dressing room. You play football. Majority of the time for that dressing room, that part and that band, yeah. like, and I the loved it. Is like that, and it, and it is even when you're, you're younger, it's like you come in and it's like you got a budget, or so it might be short, is, and, it, uh, and it might be hard then to think, well, how do I say this now? I <laughs> that makes it a wee bit challenging. Uh, and I just thought if I if I did commit to people, they wouldn't treat me the same, and I couldn't have the same banter, which was massive for me. That's what I was worried about. But aye, it was all night. Mm. Nice, to be honest with you. So if we go back, right, we'll start, we'll come at that, but if we go right back to the start, so what age did you use to first come up on the road? I was just for you, so I was like 12, 13, you were 13. 
Mm -hmm. Remind me, did you come for? Were you the boy that came for like Rangers? Or were you boys club? No, but I, I was boy. I was, he was Rangers, wasn't he? He, no. was at, he was in at Rangers for years. We were <laughs> No, I was, I, I was boys club and then came in. Um, but it, I, no, I think I was younger. I think I was, I think I was 11 when I was in there. No. What a team that was, mate. I always remember, I don't know how he never made it. Pat, be Patty Pat McPake. Where'd he go? What a player, man. Uh, right, that was the sort of nucleus. But you, I mean, obviously, I've watched the show for years. You play yourself in, obviously, being with Celtic, I get it. But you are phenomenal, mate. What is he? he Nutter, uh, like uh, absolute Tasmanian devil. Like, like, okay. I always try DDT voting stunner. Out and I just always remember boys like chasing you, trying to bark you, even they couldn't Aye. catch you. You still try to fight people. What, on the pitch or in the no, dressing just kidding, no, just fuck. Nah. Remember the wee box, remember in Fur Hill, off our park, the wee training bit and they used to have the wee boxing. Oh my God. Every time we used to come up, we used to always remember you on that like, da 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 He's not bad at the old boxing. I mean, I'm good at the boxing. Remember uh, Rab, the... Do you remember Rab? Shake, <laughs> shake, shake, shake your hands like that. <laughs> what a time. Honestly, mate, if I could go back to any... That, that club was incredible, though, wasn't it? Who was it? Me, oh, Youngie, was it? Youngie and Wally Faulkner. Like Celtic. Wally Faulkner, he was a good player, Wally Faulkner, mate. Dundee, Celtic, uh -huh. Oh, I remember. I think it was doing long things with you. We were practising up, you know, long-range <laughs> passing. <laughs> Can you give it to us, too? My right peg. You were actually doing... All, no, you were a bit... We were both quite shite, but I was terrible, my right peg. Oh, that, and yeah. Youngie pulled me, man. Oh, they, it was a really busy night for some reason. They pulled me and he went, right. Started practicing my right bit for about 10 minutes, pure shouting, like kind of embarrassed me a wee bit, and then went back into it. First pass, fucking shanked him, man. I'm like, oh no, oh. get me him. <laughs> Great, man. He yeah, basically could be ruthless, wee young, eh, but. Eh, Wait, who? Uh, Gordon Young? Aye. Uh, he's maybe a good coach, isn't he? Uh, he's really, he was really good, wasn't he? Aye. But actually, I think it was tough, and he's talking about it often as well. Like, this day and age, I think the, the coaching has changed and it's an evolved a bit, I get, but back then, I they were. Pretty tough one, was it? Uh, it was sink or swim. I answered that in, in his interview, didn't he? It was sink or swim when you were. He kind of said it's. Do you think it's changed now, though, then? Uh, I think they're a lot more understanding with kids now. Uh, more person centred uh, than uh, understand that person. You probably did get more opportunities. So, but Andrew was saying if you sort of have a, had a bad session and you were out, whereas now that's probably not the case. Uh, not? They expect you to kind of struggle for the first couple see of weeks. See, you did go. See, when you went into the first team and trained, like, it was like that, mate, yeah. wasn't it? See, when you went into the first team and you had a shocker, mm. you honestly knew in your mind and the heart and the players knew that boy won't be seen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, just to we'll come back to my bit, when I was at Airdrie, when you said that, I was playing a reserves game against Jose Catongo. I remember lining up yeah, against him. I <laughs> was gone, man. Uh, and I remember, it was like, no, no, 80 minutes, and I burst through, that's when I had pace, uh, burst through, and I should have squared it, never squared it, tried to shoot, and Jimmy Boyle, Mm. Do you know Jim? Where's mm -hmm. he now? He's still at Airdrie or is he? No, he's, got, he's been at a few clubs, Jimmy Boyle, huh? I remember he came in and uh, he's prone to going through boys anyway. Um, and I'm sitting absolutely trembling and he went, And you? Did you see it? Did you see it? Yes or no? Yes or no? And I have no idea what he's talking about. And I'm like, Just yes or no? Yes or no? I'm like, Yes or no? No. <laughs> then he got a look at it again after that. <laughs> and that was you done? <laughs> no, no. That was me, I just back to the youth team. But, uh, because I played the replay the edge this year, were you always a striker growing up? No, left wing. Left wing, aye. Yeah. Left wing, are you on the right? Left wing, aye. Whoa. What a team, man. Bob, Bob and Lawless up top, man. We're good, mate. Uh, aye, and then as you grow older. What age did you back. get released from Mother or? Did you go, did you go full time, Mother or no? No, no, no. No, just full that. I was 15. 15, a year out, and then went into Airdrie until 18. No, 17. Aye. How years. did you take that, getting released from Mother or? Because a lot of things going on, obviously, sexuality plays a part, but aye, there's other things as well going on, but again, it's just sink or swim, played boys club for a year, got to love it again, as boys do, and then was like, right, here we go, and I'm popping it. But what you're not realising, you, you build thick skinny through professional academies. Mm -hmm. Boys either go one way, where you go off the rails and probably fall away from it, or you just get a bit of, you find the love again, you go for, you need to keep going for it, but aye, and then back into Airdrie, the Diamonds. Who was, who was that team at Airdrie? Boys that made it were Jamie Bain. He said a good player. Well, Jamie Bain, he's a right back. Uh, you might not remember Giggsy. You get called Giggsy, Ryan Donaldson. Aye, I played with him at air. Aye, aye. Good striker, uh, mate. I just scores goals, eh? Aye, uh, that's good. The only two that probably made it. Jamie Bain, honestly, I, I, I'm good pals with him. I can tell you this. Like, see through the youth. Nah, he wasn't he? That good, eh? Mm. Good attitude, you know, worked hard, but just stuck at it. We bit like loss as well, to be fair. Because it's some player now. That's a career, he's a career loss. 
But did he have one when you were younger that you'd have thought we'd have went and played well, at he level? Well, he was actually, he didn't actually, he wasn't really a regular starter. You said he was in a high chair until he was High 30. chair, they tried to get him in. They took it, they actually decided the pitch ahead of him in there, I know, <laughs> when it got too much and then they took him out when he wanted to bring him on. But he's a cracking player loss. Uh -huh, he he really is. So see, see in the dressing room, so you like an Erdogan and all that, did you, were you thinking then like, I do want to come out? No. No, I was miles away for that, that still point. Away that. At that point, who was only out? It was probably Justin Fashion, isn't it? And looks so there isn't a lot of role models there, mate, is there for you to look at and go, oh, there's none. It's terrified, mate. Yeah. At that point, you know, I thought it was, you know, when I discovered when I was like 13, 14, I was gay, I was fucking terrified. <laughs> so was, like, that, oh, no. was that the age, mate, 13? Ah, you know, Saturday straight away, yeah, like, I've never told this story before, I'll tell it. <laughs> I was uh, just a uh, P7 or S1, um, probably just before training and on your computer on remember MSN like, and yeah. that. Playing the Sims game. Do you ever play Sims? Ah, brilliant. You play Sims that? pish. Hate it. Born <laughs> as fuck, man. <laughs> uh, and I and just found out for that, you can guess, <laughs> you can get me more relationships, I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> no, you're right. And, uh, obviously, I accidentally cracked like, a man and a man in a relationship and then obviously... I'm not going to tell you what else, but I've discovered this. <laughs> I was gay, but then I, I just, um, I remember just the immediate dread. I'm like, oh, I can laugh about it now because I'm uh -huh. fucking loving life and happy, but I remember just the immediate dread. I think oh, I was great you, as well. Did you, mate? Just get, oh, like, oh, no, man. Like, oh, my boy, like, oh, the football team and that, like, because all you were talking about, like, the nuts and zoo magazines and all that. Oh, eh? That was just the way that was right. Room, uh -huh. And uh, <clears throat> so, I, so before that, I, I, I'm like, why is that not doing anything to me? What's going on? And then when I discovered it, I, it was proper dread. But Who was the first person you told? Can you remember? Probably my mum. What age like, was that? I was like maybe eighteen. I was like, oh my god, eighteen was, I was that? Like, I couldn't yeah, fully say. Over that as a kid and no telling anybody, <laughs> must be tough now. I, I couldn't say that I was fully gay yet because again I had so much internalised homophobia in myself. But I was like, oh my god, maybe like bisexual or something. Like that. She's like, what's that? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so I finally told her. And she was like, ah, who cares? Just live your life, which is brilliant. And then just I fast forward to. Actually telling all the people that mean the most to me. It was mostly the, the men in that. I was scared of like all oh, my boy pals and my bra and all that. And they were just like, don't care. Mm, Who cares, mate? Like, so I... Do you know though, mate, the, the, the bit when I was watching the documentary, to see that sort of when you said, so that can be five year period before you told anybody. That must be mate, so tough because see, when you're in a, when you're in a dressing room, you're a, you might almost be sort of scared to say it in case you like, you go, oh my god, I might have gave that away, or aye. Are you living with that, mate? Mm. Must be fucking tough. Aye, 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 I was in a good dress room at that point, obviously, with Gala. Uh, Neely was a gaffer, he's an uh, assistant now at Livingston. What a guy, man, honestly. Absolute hero, a guy. He'll go, well, he is, he's playing the Prem, so, but he'll have a great career. Um, he used to always say a thing in the dressing room, he used to go, and this, after the game, especially when he was like, right, I don't give a, don't care he said, if you're going home your boyfriend or your girlfriend, I don't care, just go home, relax. And I would just a wee off the cuff comment, like, really helped me, I'll be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. At that time before, so I was in a long-term relationship with Lassie and then I split up and I was trying to come to terms with it. Well, if I didn't have football, honestly, I don't know where I'd be. Yeah. Football was my saving grace. Mm -hmm. like, so you went out with girls as well? Aye, when I was younger, aye. Um, right up to my, like, my late 20s and then I just I was a bit of my identity, them and my celly. So it's because you were involved with football that you done that? Aye. Aye. To look to the boys like I've got a bird and because I just couldn't. If, I'm like honestly for years I'm like how the fuck can I be gay? Like how can I be good at for years? That's what you know. My brain told me maybe society like I hated it. I was like how can I be gay? How can I not just people like one of the boys? Like why do I need to be gay? Like I hated it. And then I took a good two three years to finally go right enough. So it took it a lot of time, man. But I glad it did now because look, look where we are. Okay, then we'll see, see you. So your so your girlfriend, how was she when you? So we do talk now, she's got a new boyfriend and like, so, you know, we talk now, so I obviously she was confused and like, mm -hmm. like what the fuck's going on that? Uh, and that was hard and it was during lockdown as well, so I mean, thank God the loan, like at the time there was games still played, man, otherwise it would have been a lot tougher, but aye, very thankful for football. You, you hope, it, you do hope that, that, that sort of, now that you've come out, but you do hope that a lot more players now come out, don't you? Mm. I, I always say like you don't need to go public. Like, well, I, I accidentally went public and knew, you know, through this I'm becoming a bastard, which is amazing, great. But you don't have to go go and tell the public. Like, see if you can just go and tell your pals and your mm -hmm. friends and family. Yeah. And, like, just accept yourself. And like, I would say, by and large, majority of dress rooms yeah, are going to be brand new. You said that. I think anybody cares. No, now. you're spot on. Anybody cares, mate. And, and now, they make the, I think, well, you, you'd hope the club's not would be great for people with the sport that we give them now, wouldn't it? Oh, everybody's brand new. You get the odd. 
Twitter. That's it. There's not even any other app. You just know that. I did see some oh. of the comments that on the, the documentary. I seen some of the comments that you had seen or received, and it, it was it wasn't it nice, mate. It was shocking to be honest. I used it as fire to be honest, and I was like, no, we prove them wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, one of them was just like, oh, you've only got a move because you're gay. And I'm like, aye, Robbie Horn, very well respected. <laughs> uh, sign me because I'm gay. I know because I've done well against them for, for, for the years now. And they bother me, aye. Brand but did, did that, that mate, that's. These people need to be held More accountable, mate, though, eh? It doesn't get. See, so, see if you're going to. I remember uh, we played Hearts B in the gala. Um, and majority of the time at that point, I was getting like paused. People send me letters and all that. Mental. So, gala chairman just thought this was a positive letter. So, I took aim, I didn't open it. I missed a sitter that day. Fucking uh, back post, tap in, heater, 50 pence seat, it's went out the bar. I'm raging at myself, it's 3 3. I would have, like, I would have won the game and uh, went home, opened this like, up, and it's fucking hate mail. But this Christian group saying, I'm going to hell and I'm a disgrace and all that. I'm like, oh, that's just the wrong time. Uh, Usually yeah. they don't get into me, but see when I got <laughs> at that point, I was like, oh, pathetic, man. worst uh, timings, man. Uh, can I ask, uh, like, what, what, what was it about that day that made you think, nah, fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell people now. I'm gonna. I was in holiday. <laughs> I was at Ben. I was in Benidorm. Uh, first time I went to Benidorm. What by the way, so you were on holiday. I bet. Few drinks. We were half cut on holiday. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> and uh, Benidorm Pride, so it's a Pride event. But this was different to like Glasgow Pride. That was brilliant, man. Eh? Like the whole thing was. Like coaches and van, it was a parade thing. I was like, this is brilliant. And my pal wanted to take a picture of me at the event and she was probably going to put it on socials and she was like, oh, shit, no, no, you can't do that. Sorry, you're fit on that. And I went, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I could die right now and I'm just fucking living a lie, mm -hmm. hiding all my pals, uh, yeah. hiding all my like queer pals and stuff. Like, what am I doing? And I just went home, sat in my veranda. What? Oh, that's a Scottish word, isn't it? What's it? Veranda, a balcony. Balcony, 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 are you alright? What's good? Is everything alright? I'm like, oh, I oh, miss calls to all these journalists. Really? What's straight away? The oh, next one? Try, try to get a piece and stuff, and the club just jumped and protected me, which was brilliant. Oh, like, brilliant. were excellent. And then. Did you not tell the club before you, you put the <laughs> statement in there? <laughs> they were like, we wish we'd known before, but they're like, brand new. Honestly, people at that club I'll speak to today, I die, man. Who, like, Gala Ferradin? Oh, people involved in that club, like. Amazing, brilliant, right? man. So, who, who was it that got in touch? Is it a, a German, German owner? German. Ryan Cass and Ryan Cass is missus. Obviously, they're a small net team, but what a place to know. Coco, the coach, he's, he's a bit of you. He's, he's nuts, man. He's hilarious. Uh, Jimmy as well, the gaffer, been superb. You know, everybody knows Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, Scott, I love Jimmy. You said that. Hey, hey, Jimmy, Martin Scott. What a boy. I can't even tell that many stories about him because I also, obviously knew him when I played him. <laughs> now he's a gaffer, so I need to give it. PG, he used to cut his in here. What? When he was playing, he used to cut his in here. A hero, man. He's uh, a hero. He's, man. He's completely changed now. He's sweet till now, too. He's so oh. on the coaching and he speaks. Oh, he's I'm mad. But he, he, Jimmy was, my, he was wild back in the day. Huh? Nights out, so oh, what a guy, mate. Oh, he's, 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 can't he? tell he's anything. Literally, no story I can tell you. Because he's a hero. Steve is the only assistant, but oh, God, the boys are brand new. And most importantly, the banter was still there, man. I was, was terrified. It? Like, oh, no, is the boys going to be walking on eggshells? No, no, what to say to me and stuff like that. And, Oh, they were brand new. What was your first day walking in like? <laughs> it was a bit awkward, I was like, <laughs> it was a wee bit, I'm not going to lie, like, I was, I even think about I'm getting pure sweaty, but I was nervous, bag of jaggies, but I think, did they clap me when I walked in and oh, stuff? Like, no, but take, like, laughter and stuff, eh? And like, when I was all, all, on Lorraine, kind of get the word out again, they were taking the piss at me, which is brilliant, like, you need to break the ice a wee bit, eh? Yeah. Eh, and I, that was it, just having butter. And that's the thing is, you don't need to walk through the eggshells in any gay player as well, which I want to say on camera. Like, you can see if you accidentally slap him, slap him in front of me. Oh, oh fuck, I'm sorry. I'm never going to go, oh, how dare, how dare you, you say, say that? that or, right. Like, just fucking. Was there things that had been said in the past that you thought that's ah, a bit out of order? Ah, I think accident boys like, don't mean to know. That's thing, saying there's no harm. He's only meaning to go, oh, get up, you wee Nancy, or get. Nah, there's yeah. no, he's only actually, inte nobody's intentionally been homophobic, but maybe if you're in a dressing room with me, I think probably no. Terminologies will change, and but all I can say is, I they probably in hindsight they wee things that you're saying, which are only offensive at all. But for somebody that's struggling with their sexuality, it probably could indirectly 
affect to me. But yeah. I just if, as long as there's no harm, there's no harm needed. I don't think boys are bad at all. Right? You see, I, I, I was watching the, the documentary. See, when it, what was the thing? It so seventy-seven percent of was it? So any reports of discriminatory behaviour within a within the game? So like with fans or players. In a any game, uh, uh, seventy seven percent of them, any like when a referee report uh-huh. have been uh, homophobic. I mean, no that, way! I can't uh, believe that. Have they? Yeah. Well, no, I would never think seventy seven percent. No, but then again, I just think it, I don't. Think, but they're actually people shouting it, aren't they? Intentionally being homophobic. I just don't think they realise the harm it could possibly mm-hmm. cause. Because of course, there probably will be you know others like me. Do you know what I mean? And I just hope that I can help them. Have you had anything for the stand since you came? Nothing to my face ever. Nothing to my face. I think there's been a couple of reports that happened, but I've not heard anything. Everybody's mm. both sit home in a way. Brand mm-hmm. nudes. I mean, it's been new, like, obviously, going up a level and you, you do sense more people staring at your stuff and it does take a bit of adjusting, but I'm very thankful we've got another year, so. Nah, I'm not really just saying this because you're on, but when we played, just, I think we were four up. Ah, Jim, yeah, I had Jimmy, your manager, in my back pocket. I played centre half, he played up front. I want to get that on camera. Ah, you did too, because But then he came on, mate, and fucking, not just saying this because you're on, caused me all sorts of problems, ah, mate. Aye. I'd never known you, I never knew you as a player, I'd be being totally honest, eh? Nah, it's quite right, aye. But, <laughs> but when you came yeah, on, I was like, I was like, he's fucking, he's a good player. Why are you not starting that day? I was injured, mate. I wasn't even, oh, wait, I wasn't right. like Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you came on that game as well, I was oh, raging. Oh, man. That was your debut. Eh, uh, I. I was I was injured that day and you were absolutely battling us. You were on it. Uh-huh. You played well that day. Battling us, man. It a bit. I was just like, nah, get me on, man. Like, this is embarrassing for us. Like, nobody's getting any dicky. Eh? Just... Do you know, though, see, see, for the first game we played you and then to the second, it was night and day. Jimmy said to you, uh, Jimmy, be good to get honest. Jimmy said after that game we played him, he's like, ah, not just saying the way we played him. No, like, I remember I'm you cha- saying at the time, I, he's, I spoke to him after the game, he's like, I'm changing how you're playing. I'm going to go and fucking play, uh, play it through the back, press high up the pitch. Um, and it was they were really good when we played them last game of the season. They? they were excellent. Uh-huh. He's done. A, I, I think he'll do really well, Jimmy. I mm-hmm. do. I think he'll do oh, really well. He's got, honestly, man. He's two samples have went there as well. So I think he's, he's signed well as well. Mate, uh-huh. I, twenty-five goals you scored, twenty-one, twenty-two season. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. That's incredible. Were you, see, when you were at, at Millwall, that were you only a goal scorer, were you? No, no, no. So you, right up front, I take it that that's your position now. Aye, aye. Just get up my left peg and by and large, twenty-five chance, goals. Uh huh. No bad that. Was there any other interest at, at that point for teams higher up? I played the, uh, aye. So that, that that season during the season, I played uh, preseason. No, no preseason, just a friendly with Dunfermline. Yogi was the gaffer at the time. Uh, was that was that boy at Queens Park? He's moved to Queens Park from Dunfermline. Tom, we Tom, we winger. Thomas. Tom Thomas. Tom Thomas. What I played. So he was getting back fit. So aye, I think it was basically a friendly. And I played really well. Eh? Um, I remember he, I was taking a, f- a free kick and he went, you fancy this big man? And I went, oh no, no, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking shanked the free kick. But... So I played, uh, played that and then done well and got, a, got offered a two-week friendly way. Two-week like... friendly? That's fucking some, that, that's a long game, man. <laughs> two-week friendly. <laughs> Right, we're going to play for two weeks, lads. Two week, two week trial. We'll just score two on <laughs> <two run 50. laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you pulled me up there. I'd have let that go. I'm not getting for that. Boys, have you shattered, man? Two, I, t- I got over the week to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got over the two week trial with Alwa. Chipper was the gaffer at the time. Uh, what a guy as well. And again, shut the bed. <laughs> Did you really? Shut the bed. Like, no, nah, man, what, too close to home? What if somebody finds out? Oh, um, but I, hey. Do you think, look back, I think what could have been? Maybe through the twenties, I've had other opportunities than I. But oh, look at my life now. No uh, complaints. That's uh, reason, mate, I think. Spot on, mate. Uh, no complaints now. So you know, is it hard to sort of go like fit was my main thing because of how much other stuff you're doing now? Very difficult, I be honest. Uh, again, it's put me by surprise. Like, I didn't understand how many people I'd be helping, and you know the floods of messages and letters and all that that have made me realise right clearly I've got a, a voice in this world, being mm-hmm. a master in that, uh, and obviously doing my documentary. So. I luckily I play part time. Do you know what I mean? I can fit all this room. Usually would be the same, eh? Like it's a balancing act. I I'm still it. getting used to. Uh, well, I've got used to it. Who knows? But I, Bonnie, I've been proud of me. Can't complain at all. Gaffer's been superb. Like keep him in the loop and eyes. Mm-hmm. So is this like your job now, Anna? Aye, aye. Just going there and talk, talking to people. Ambassador, media work, advocacy, 
can't get that word. Uh, try to be a fancy, try to say a fancy word there. Yeah, I'm uh, uh, ambassador, uh, <laughs> media work guy. It's basically my. I gig seen you in Livingston. You were doing. I talk. That was brilliant. Eh? Enjoyed that. Uh, That's a hard is day. that the bit you enjoy the most? Going into clubs and. Aye, I, play. It's, aye, because I can. We see the data as well, so I do it with the PFA and tie and see after it. They just fill in, they get a wee QR code, and then they just give anonymous feedback and. Obviously, can't tell you exactly what to say, but you see mm-hmm. some of the data, and you're like, "Oh yeah, this is hitting home, man. This is really helping people here." Uh, just to know that they're not alone. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, and not just that, just how generally you can you can still have banter on chat. Ah, just be aye. mindful of what you're saying. And so I did not know the clubs, you know, which is which is brilliant, mate. I enjoy that. I wanted to just because obviously you know my, uh, when we said you played in that game. Where did you make his comeback? Could you see that the ability was still there? Did you think how heavy was that? Did you think it was a line on a broom holster? <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> the tiger and a host it. <laughs> to the boy that you know you were the golden child that Motherwell mm-hmm. and I don't think you talk about that very often like just quit you were phenomenal mate. you were incredible mate. and you never that? you never believed in yourself even but we're just going to get playing as Rangers you get two assists and a goal and I'm like well done mate he's like nah I was shite nah. but Sonny what you never like had that. that belief mate no, like, I like that, even though you were the man I love Did it. Did you say one here, mate? He's a man on here and he hates no, shite. No, I'm dog shite in here, mate. No, he's not. Honestly, dog shite. Football was outstanding when I was young, but and I did, but I was dead critical of myself, but on here, my God. I've nearly put open goal for, I finished it about a million no, times. No, now, mate, he's always done it. No, no, he's no. no. I did that, didn't I? So people didn't see uh-huh. it. doing well. I'm like, they type of guys, in it. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. you were good, mate. You were, no, you were all right. I had a couple of great. No, I mean, you kept good the ball, didn't you? Good touches. Aye, but do you know, I actually remember saying to ref, I don't know how long ago, because I was struggling. But I think it was all the, the motion side and then I was getting back, do you know what I mean? Mate, again, there were some training sessions that he, he played uh, last year and he was fucking excellent in them. See the B5 right. Do you know, no, I, I think if I'd went to another team, I would have probably... I don't know what it was. I didn't know what I liked to do. It would have been no suit your style, mate. No, I didn't know so, what I liked to do. Oh, right, uh-huh. Do you know that way? No. I, I'd rather other boys do I mean, I don't want to... I don't know what it was. Weird, I don't want to ask you a question because you're asking me the question. No, no, you do. No, go, it's a chat, but, mate. Uh, it's see, going to Celtic, because I can only know I played against James Forrest once and I was gone, mate. I thought I was a decent winger and playing against Aye. him, I was like, what the hell? And that's levels. See, playing with these types of players every day, did that just. He was at the same level as James, eh? Right? Aye, but they say it makes you better, but it can also make you worse. Do you know that? Yeah. But they say when you play with better players, we, you know, you always hear it that that'll bring you on. Mm-hmm. Not by, but you can go by right down the way. Because when you're not anywhere near them, or you don't believe in yourself as much or, or whatever it is sometimes you, in that moment you get found you get fun it but mate like these guys that go and make it I, I'm convinced that because the ones that have that, that I know as well it's no ability it's mentality oh, it's mentality, mentality is the that thing them, that's it that's what because I've them, seen James Day having bad games and I've seen I mean the crowd have never really been like a, f- uh, James has never been a fan's favourite but it never ever ends his head even yeah. if it's a bad game it doesn't it doesn't even seem to register on his head yeah I don't know, probably no. Aiden was the same when he came through the BU and that is a difference, isn't it? Yeah, uh, if Aiden, like, if somebody said Aiden had a bad, if he did, he'd be like, what are you talking about? I was fucking brilliant at it. Nah, it's incredible. It's like, it's like, it's like, how was your sort of mentality like that? If you had a bad game or anything with that? Yeah, now it's very good, mate. Now it's is it? brilliant, man. But it wasn't always that. Like, uh, took me a long time to, and because you get, you had a tough bro- upbringing, like, Motherwell were young and that, and then Jimmy uh, Boyle, you get, it's old school, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And you talk about it often in the podcast, it was, Tough going, and I think that's a good stead, you know, to come into the new days. Because now, you know, I don't, if I miss, I will think about it probably for that whole week, but it'll give me fire, eh? Like, you know, I'm going to put this right. No, I use it as fuel now, and I think my mentality is right. Obviously, I'm getting a bit older, I'm not getting any younger, 31, but mentality wise, mentality wise, aye, it's spot. That as well, he's he's kept off. his phone on. Oh, oh man. man, it was my mum, my mum's actually, he's an old ass, actually, see you. <laughs> my mum wants to see you. <laughs> Can I ask you, do you feel like you've become a better player since you've came out? Is there maybe a weight off your shoulders you nah. have to relax oh. when you're playing? Oh, I was honestly, man, see, sometimes, man, my brain would just, if I was in the zone and having a good game sometimes, and I would just think about, like, oh my god, I'm living a lie, and just think about everything and all that, and all the Fear, just sometimes on the pitch, I'm like, but really, that would come to you on the pitch. Sometimes, mate, I'm like, oh, fuck off, man. Like, why is that? Why is this happening? Uh, so like, that's helped. I'm so much more calmer. Um, because I was probably a lot more aggressive through like being in the closet. I was a lot more angry and I wanted to prove. I always felt like I had something to prove, whereas now I'm probably a bit more calmer on the pitch. Eh? Um, so I, 
And really, me, but see, in the in the women's game, it is accepted a lot more, isn't it? Aye, it's like a safe space. Why do you think? Why, why do you think that is? Well, it's a big question, it's Lee Boy. That is a massive question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. I think that for whatever reason, it's just a safe space for somebody to be. I think a lot of maybe people in the general public think that women, if they play football, they're just probably going to be a lesbian as well. Right. I think that's just accepted. Um, whereas the men's, obviously, it's a lot different. And I, for whatever reason, I don't know, it's mental. It's strange. Mm. Do you it's think we'll see a, a lot more men coming out? I hope, I don't know. I honestly don't know, mate. I, I, I see with all this, with the traction and the boy down in England and blah, blah, maybe thought like other people's would. And I mean, I'm not going to say they're definite, but there must be in the high leagues, you know, people. Of course, aye. And they're probably just scared of how the reaction is going to be and stuff. But, oh, I'd say to them, it's just get that way. Once you fully accept yourself, once, you know what I mean, you can build the armour. So if you get any crap or any home for baby boosts, you can just bat it off. You're no. like, nah, it's, hate, that's your ready. I hate to think, though, that people are sort of no living a life or like you could have maybe went on high up in football or sort of keep me terms with earlier on people make me new suffering with that you want as many of them to come out aye aye uh, and they don't need to go public if they can just go and aye tell their mates and family and aye that's me mm -hmm. that's why I'm doing all this in Bast and put myself out there do you know what I mean it's no easy <laughs> like you do get a lot of crap I'll be honest some yeah. doing all this stuff um, they, a lot of people don't understand it and a lot of them, I, sometimes I message them directly about, look, pal, see if you want to just meet, for, meet me for a coffee right now or this, this week and I'll happily sit you down and talk to you why I'm doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. No bother. Nobody obviously agrees, the, the trolls, of course, but, um, aye, of course, it's, I'm hugely passionate about it and I can see how many people it's helped, so that's why I'm. Are you happy you've it. done it, Xander? Huh? No, I am, I say, I mean, I brought up in a scheme in fucking East End of Glasgow, which I mean, I had, I can't believe this is my life now. It's brilliant, man. Like, I can't even complain. And when I stop playing, I'll maybe consider getting into like women's football. I'm hugely passionate about potentially getting into like women's coaching. But out with that, like, I'll be an ambassador because I can just see all these like getting sent letters through wee wins, like 16 year old, 16 year old kids, like telling them how much I've helped them and helped them and stuff. Like, Amazing. that sticks with you. Like, mm. so yeah, I'll, I'll stick with it there for. I think they what makes you happy, mate, in life, eh? 100%, mate. Forget what anyone else And thinks. I know it must be so difficult because, like, as I said, the way sometimes dress rooms could be or you're worried about this. So I'm not going to say, don't know, like, it's, it's not be bad, but definitely go for it, mate, if that's the way you, you feel, innit? Dressing rooms have changed so much, mate. No. See, when I first went down to Swindon, mate, like, the dressing room was so ruthless, it was unbelievable. But see, now in dressing rooms, mate, no. These boys just sit on their phone, didn't they? They even fucking slag it. Like, they, they Everybody's all metrosexual. Anyway. Everybody's got the greelish haircuts and all that. Everybody's <laughs> wearing the headbands, <laughs> you know what I mean? Pink boots, all this, all this stuff, do you know what I mean? So everyone's getting a bit more metrosexual, isn't it? Uh -huh. Is that the right word, Ty? I think so. Does that make it up? Aye, aye, aye. You know what it is? You know, no. guys, I don't know. Do you know? Aye, yeah. yeah, fucking know. <laughs> That's the right word. <laughs> Hong Kong, mate. Hong Kong in a couple of weeks. Hey, uh, mate. Bag of Jaggies going to stand up and speak to... Um, I think it's like 100 odd, maybe 200 people oh. like corporate and sports for the LGBT conference. I don't and piss that, mate. Well, I, sir. Mate, that's I just need to practice a bit and I'll be all right. Yeah. You usually say, like, it's your version of the hype, my smaller no, version mate, of the hype, that's, right, that's because you and me going, we're having a laugh and talking to each other. But aye, see if you go and speak, you see me speak in front of a, a, an audience like that, mate. Oh. You can I hear your, you, can see, you feel your breath not shaking. Have you done it? Have you done like you're just a speech to an audience before? I've done it to a high school in Court Bridge, mate. I thought I was just doing it to a class and it was a full school. Hey guys, like, ah, right up you go, uh, what the fuck, man? Uh, that was, that was more nerve wracking than the, the microphone, eh? Uh, 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 I always say to them, like, I'm like, I'm not going up and down like a 40, 30 minute, 45 minute speech because okay, if I just maybe like, 10, 15 minutes and then do like a wee Q&A or something, they bother. But I always think that, mate, when you go up there, you, you should have somebody coming up and asking you questions. See, just oh, stunning up and trying to go along with me. Mate, imagine me doing that. After 20 seconds, my head would go blank and be stunning just doing that. But he's a math. But he's up to the right. <laughs> Wait, last meal. What's your last meal? <laughs> you know what, ask me <laughs> last meal. Aye. You've asked me this last week, but I'll answer oh, it again. Let's put it on camera. Aye, go on, John. Last meal ever. Starter, main, oh. dessert. What are you going for? And a wee drink here. Oh. Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? God, this is going to sound so hipster to me with the drinks. But I'll start, I'll start with the starter. King scallops. Wow. King scallops, so proper king What's scallops. What's the difference between normal scallops? I know oh, that was someone else I had the... 
What's the difference between normal scallops and king scallops? I think you could guess the size of I Is it just the size? Oh, is it? It's a bit poor, isn't it? <laughs> what, they probably call me something else? <laughs> uh, for me, I need to go with it. I feel like steak in it. Peppercorn. Oh, aye. aye. Uh, sweet potato chips. Right What's that? Sweet potato chips went right after them. Mm. No, I don't. No, no mate. Fat, they? they were in for a bit, but... I, think they've been right, I don't think you'll see a lot of them going about. And they, they might not be on the menu for you. <laughs> Triple <laughs> boiled tatties on the veranda. <laughs> you were having cool. this on the veranda. <laughs> roast, hey, in fact, roast tatties, substitute them for roast tatties and then. Yeah, yeah, What's good. that, Muller and Carter? The, che- the slaw, the, no, the, 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 the lettuce thing with the cheese on it. You must have been Muller and Carter. For Frank and Benny, sir. Frank and Benny, he's <laughs> No way. Brush your teeth out, doesn't it? Is that mad? Uh, lettuce with like. Cheese sauce. Oh, thing. cheese sauce, uh-huh. nice. I know what you're talking you're about. You're at it. He, no, 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 he uh, does me. Nice. He's, he loves his food, this uh-huh. boy. That's blue cheese sauce. Uh, aye, 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 blue cheese sauce. That's one. And then uh, your dessert, mate. Dessert. I'm not a big, crazy, like, decadent dessert man, eh? I Are like you a bit of, like, frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt? Do you? <laughs> See ya. That's pish. Frozen yogurt. <laughs> Frozen yogurt. Are you a cheese board, mate? That's her red. Oh, boy. no. I know. No I'm way. A boy for the schemes in Dundee. <laughs> my God, they'll hate you the new in Dundee. <laughs> Rightly so. I'm, like dessert. I'm the same as you. I'm not a big dessert guy, mate. I wouldn't eat a fucking chocolate tart or a fucking cheesecake. I'd rather. But was that taught me for a cheese board? So is it just like cheese oh, no, with crackers? So- no, like soft brie with uh, like a caramelised so onion, caramelised onion chutney. Oh, mate, incredible, man. Or a chilli jam or so. Oh no! But do you know what? Do you know what I'm into? It's quite south side of me. I know he's use what use East End or I'm West End. West End, East End. I'm West End. He's West End. Schemes in for Anderson. What? The I real think people. That's, that's name got it. People of the streets, am I? I'm it. I'm a. You ever tried kombucha? <laughs> nah, no. Nah. He has an only doesn't. No, I've seen it. I swear, I can't bitch out. I'm all tired, so it's decent. Like, good. You can get the players on it. That get a sponsor. That. Uh, what, what is, is it? Oh, you put my spot. Fermented. Something. Fermented tea. Mm. Oh right, the, one, uh, the big pl- some of the big players drink it. Do they? Uh-huh. Oh, Messi and that in Spanish. Messi that no, for... that's a mate, isn't it? <laughs> but like <laughs> fuck <laughs> Cabucho, I'm man, what the fuck, man? <laughs> but that's my, that's my, that's my wheel. Is that no bad? What about your drink? Cabucho. Or oh, is that, or oh, is, oh, is that a drink? I thought it was food. <laughs> What's your? Have you got a favourite cocktail? Um, Coke float. No, I've got a good. Um. Sticky Mary. What? No. Sticky Mary. What is it? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Sticky Mary. You're going to mix up that lassie for Benedum. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky Mary. It's a dot, Lou. It's a dot. That's what it is. For a week, man. Might oh. espresso martini like that. Oh. Oh, aye. Nice, eh? Oh. And, and then they've come in and they've actually got on me. You said you've been decent and they go, right, a song for your li- tape with your dinner. What you got on the on the veranda? veranda. Let's say uh, I'm an Abba man. Love ah, it. Oh, love an Abba, Abba tribute. Any Abba tribute night. Glasgow. I'm, I'm there. Eh? See, love it. Wonder Bar play oh. uh, Abba songs. Incredible. Is it? See the boy Dylan John Thomas. You heard him playing it. No. An Abba song. Have you no? Incredible. What's that tune? Uh, the one in Glasgow. And I caught you last night from Glasgow. You've got a good voice, man. Uh-huh. What song you got on me? Mind you be Benny and the Jet Selton John. <laughs> you just done that because I'm here. You just done that because you see that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm trying to be an ambassador. <laughs> trying to be in Hong Kong. <laughs> Mind you be Benny and the Jet, it's cool. What, ch- what is that? He's a bit here. You don't know Benny and the Jet? No. Do you want us to play it there? Oh, he's hey, smart, Hey, kids, take a seat together. Let's see. What's yours? Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine's would be mine's would be I, I'm loving Faithless now. I love Faithless. Have you heard Music Matters? Aye. Gaze oh. a wee bit. Nah. Mm-hmm. Come on. Because it's just a tune. Faithless 2010 Insomnia, Tea in the Park, YouTube that. Incredible. Uh, I think I've seen that. Oh magic. Has he died now? The uh, he's dead, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, Xander. No, wait, I want to ask him one more, one more question. Are you, have you still got ambitions to go and play higher or are you happy where you are? Yeah. Part time. Yeah. Um, I just need to see. I'm not getting any younger side. Do you know what I mean? Mike's only moving as quickly as they used to. Mike's no old. Fuck, are you kidding? Uh, aye. I know. If you can, if you're doing so much more, then. Aye, it's there's hard so many other things as well that I need to. 
that's still no calm down yet, eh? Like, I always say, it's probably a bit negative, but I'm always like, when's this bubble going to bust, man? This is mental. When am I going to do something stupid? And, no, uh, never. Do you know what I mean? Do you not get that sometimes? Like, just, I don't yeah, know. When it's, to me, it's, it's like, how am I getting all these opportunities? Like, I'm just a diddy face. You know what I mean, I don't get it, but uh, I would, I, I need to get used to the league, mate. I'll be honest, I was shocked to. Lowland league, I think it's more relaxed. There's more football. Whereas in League Two, mate, it's any team, any team to top to the bottom, they score a goal and it's a game of chess. They just everybody sits Certain. in, and it's obviously a bit more direct with the grass pitches. It's boys are more athletic all round, so I need to get used to it. I've had an okay season. I'll be personally, boys have been great, amazing. But personally, I could, I think I could do a lot better, and I've got a lot more to show. And you've got another year at Bonnie, right? Aye, no, yeah. So incredible. It? Yes, it's an absolute incredible. You should be proud of yourself. And I need yeah, to come and see your mum. My mum is asking for you. I oh, appreciate so, it. Mate. I need to come up. Sander. Sander. Good luck, mate.